Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a fun one because I really wanted to go through what I think we should splurge on, some of the things that I think we should kind of save our money and put it towards something else. If that's something that interests you, please continue watching. And this is your first time here. Thank you so much for stopping by. We love fashion, handbags, luxury, anything contemporary on this channel. I love to go through unboxings, reviews, comparisons, finding alternatives. Um, and anything, everything related. If you have a problem like me and you love accessories, handbags, fashion, then please consider subscribing. So let's just jump right in. I kind of pulled out some of the stuff that I have in my collection that I feel now that I've used it for a while, um, I wanted to kind of give you guys my perspective on is this something is worth splurging on or is this something we should kind of put aside and wait? Um, so let's start off with the first one. First one I wanted to go through is this Fendi baguette. Now I actually love her. It's one of those things where you come across something and it's love at first sight. And when you see something, you know that that's something that is just meant to be. And that's how I felt about this one. So here's what I think. Do I think it's worth it? I think if it's a love at first sight and you, it speaks to you like how she spoke to me, then yes. But if you're just in the cuffs of, I like it, I'm not in love with it, is it worth it? I would say maybe save your money. Just because my opinion is if you are going, if you're looking for investment, you're looking to splurge and you're looking for something more durable, maybe consider the Napa leather version because, you know, as we know, this is fabric. So there's no coating or anything. It's just raw fabric. Um, and everything is so intricate. These are all woven thread. So I, if given the choice again, I would still go with the Zuka print just because I love a good monogram. And Fendi to me is iconic. And this the double F's is the Zuka print is the, is everything Fendi speaks for. So I would get her again in a heartbeat and maybe even consider the leather version down the line. Um, but if you're looking for something that you want to like use as a workhorse that you don't have to worry about, maybe a leather version might be a little bit better. You're not going to have threading. Um, I'm going to use her a little bit longer and I'll do a wear and tear. I have some opinions about this, but I won't go through her details in this video, but ultimately I would never, this is going to be a forever in my collection. I just love her so much. I think it just matches with everything. So adorable, perfect size for me, not heavy. So for me, is it a splurge? Yes, but if you're not loving it, it doesn't speak to you, then maybe consider putting this towards something else. What I actually think is a better alternative is the baguette, um, just a mama baguette or maybe like a vintage baguette. I have the mama baguette that's upstairs, but I'll drop some photos here. I think these are great alternatives. But on the pre-love market, they can actually still be quite pricey, depending on the style, the, the condition. Um, Fashion Vile has some great alternatives. I'll drop it below. So what I did was I was in love with her, but I didn't want to spend this much. So I got the Mama Baguette for a really good price when Fashion Vile did a deal a few years back. Um, maybe not even a few years back, I think in 2020 and realized I just love that print so much. And that's how I decided to just invest and get this. Um, but I think that's a great way to test something out without spending so much. And the quality is absolutely amazing on vintage bags. So definitely um, would say that's my thoughts for this little cute Fendi baguette. Second bag is the YSL Walk. Now, this is one of the first YSL bags I've ever gotten. Um, and I've used her so many times because I used this when I first got it as just an everyday bag because during the pandemic, we really didn't need to carry that much. And, you know, the capacity wise for a walk, it's pretty good. I could fit all my essentials in here and I just love the quality of this. It's so nice and it has like a nice gold strap. It's not super long. It's good for a clutch. I just think that this in general, um, you know, is really good. But I do think for the pricing of this, it is kind of high. But if you compare it to a Chanel walk, this is a great deal because it's like half the price of a Chanel walk. But if you're looking, you know, just for wallet on chains in general, would I spend that much on this? I don't know, actually, because 
What I do think is actually worth it is they have the same look and feel clutch. I think it's like a wristlet. I'm going to drop it here. That one only retails, I think, for 700 something dollars. What I've seen is you can actually either make your own or purchase inserts that go in there that you can attach a chain on. So it actually looks just like this. Obviously, you still get a little bit less, right? I think that one fits good amount um, because it's all just one space versus this is divided. But you know, if you do want like a true wall on chain, there's card holders, a middle compartment, and then this area right over here. So it just depends on what you're looking for. However, um, I think if you're gonna start off with that, for that price, and you know, YSL goes on sale when you go on like Neiman Marcus, any like department stores, um, Saks, they do a lot of gift card promotions and just promotions in general. So YSL usually is part of that. So I would wait and you can get a pretty good deal. Um, but I wouldn't say pay full price for this. And that's just my thoughts, but don't get me wrong. Still one of my favorite wallet on chains out in the market. Third one is my Balenciaga Hourglass. I love this bag so much because for me, it's everything I need in a bag. It has a top handle. And I always say, if you're gonna get a structure bag, get it in a smaller size. I don't love the whole bulky look when it comes to bigger bags. If it's gonna be big, I want it to be nice and soft and slouchy that kind of conforms to the body. But if you're gonna get something mini, so cute, just hold like this, wear as a crossbody. I just think this one is such a cutie and this is a very basic bag, but inside is just one big compartment. There's like nothing in it, but I love the silhouette, the uniqueness of it. I know this bag is not for everyone. You hate it or you love it. There's really no in between. Um, so this is my, so do I think we should splurge or save? I would say for me, I love it. So I would buy it again, but I think for majority, of, of for everyone else, I would say if you don't love it, maybe save because this is still kind of pricey for what it is for Balenciaga bag. Um, and my opinion is if you're gonna get it, also again, wait for a sale. I got this for a really good price. So for me, it's worth it because I partnered this with Rakuten. I got like additional percentage off. Plus I think um, Saks was like running a promo. So for me, I got like double the discount. So it's half the price of what it retails for. So is it worth it? Yes. But if you're gonna ask me to pay the full retail price of this currently, I don't think it's worth it personally. Um, just because like for me, I would put it towards that Fendi bag because uh, that's still my ultimate favorite. Um, so, but still, this is such a cute bag and it has a little back pocket. So if you're looking for this bag, I would say get it, but just be patient and wait for a good sale before you, I wouldn't pay full price though, but matches with everything can be dressed up and down such such a cute one okay here she is this is a palm springs mini one of my favorite bags one of the pieces that i usually put a lot of thought in my purchases i like will watch every review video i will look at instagram i'll you know just research to see is it worth it because we work far for our money it's not worth it just to buy something and never use it so i do that with most bags that I purchase. However, with this one, it was never something I wanted. And I would just so happen to be in the boutique and they had one and I was like, well, it's sold out everywhere. And I mean, there must be a reason why everyone raves about this bag. I should just get it. So I did grab her um, on a whim, but so totally worth it. It's one of those things that you don't, you didn't expect to love it, but you do. And I love it because it's just so easy to use. At the end of the day, we want something easy. Um, I don't think of this as a trendy bag because I don't, you could wear as a backpack. I'm not a backpack person. I just wear it as a crossbody or just hold it in the um, little handle like this. So I personally really like it. And I think this is a classic in my opinion, because to me, it's just a canvas crossbody. Um, I think it's so cute, the shape of it. Um, I love the way that it opens, so I call it a filing cabinet where I can lay everything like this and just grab out pieces that I need. It comes with, you know, um, a strap, so you can make it a backpack or just, I just do a single strap. And I use this strap on other bags too. I think I showed it on my last video I did, I use it on the Toiletry 26. I think it looks really cute. And I just think it's worth it. However, I know LV did do a price increase. Was it today actually? It might've been today, right? Or maybe it was yesterday. 
And so at the new price, I think it retails for 2000 is it 2050, 20? It's in the 2000 range, a low 2000 range. So is it worth it? Uh, it's hard to say. If you use it every day, yes, because it's one of the best bags in my collection, the easiest bag to use. I do think it's a little steep though. It's just crazy because it used to be, I think this was 1900, not too long ago. And now to see that it's in the 2000s, it's just a little mind boggling, but I guess that's just the way how designer bags work, right? Um, just know that you're, it's going to go up regardless. And we think 2200 is a lot now, but next year it'll probably be 2600, right? So um, I'm not saying bags are great investments, but I do believe that if you buy the right bag, not every fashion house, but I think a lot of fashion houses, LV being one, Chanel being the other, and maybe even some other ones, you can always at least get your money back if you choose to sell it in the future. Um, but again, I always say, Look on the pre-love market. I was a person that never wanted anything used, always something new. But I feel like the pre-love market, if you know what you're looking for, you know to find good condition, you can save so much. And it's just at the end of the day, you get the same thing. You just gotta know what you're looking for and who you're purchasing from, making sure. And I, I love Fashion File, so you can find this on there too. But I think that right now on Fashion File, they actually retail for more than the boutiques because it's hard to find. So I think if you guys can find this, I would say splurge because it's going to go up in price. And if you don't want it in the future, you can always sell it later. So that's just my opinion on this little bag right here. Okay, fifth bag is, I don't have it up here because it's like in my closet and I have it all stuffed and stuff. I was <laughs> too lazy to like unstuff and do all that. But it's my Chanel 19. I love that bag. It's um, a bag that I think absolutely is worth the investment. It's easy to use. You can dress it up and down. It's casual um, and I don't have the, I have the lamb skin, so it's not the goat skin, so I know it's a little bit more delicate. I was very hesitant when I got that one because as much as I love the way it felt, I was always worried that I was gonna ding it or my nails will scratch and I would just hurt my heart so bad. But I've worn her, I haven't had any issues. Obviously, I'm still a little careful. I don't like to throw it around or set her in like areas where there's a lot of chaos, but I wear, her regularly um, and casually and so far so good. I think it's such a good bag. I love the way it looks, the way it wears, the top handle to it. I definitely think that's a splurge. And again, I got that, I think, yeah, 2020. And it was a lot less than what it is today. So again, I feel like if I ever do want to part with her, I could always make my money and probably in a little bit more back. However, I plan to keep her in my collection, but just want to throw it out there. I think it's worth a splurge. Um, and then last bag is my Prada re-edition. And I love, love this bag. And this bag is what really got me, I think, started watching YouTube videos when it comes to handbags and really made me want to make this channel because I was trying to decide if I want to get this bag. And this bag isn't super expensive. I think, I honestly, in my opinion, think it's a good deal for what you get. You get this, the um, statement strap, and you get that little pouch. This is the Safiano version. I've done many reviews on this. I'll drop everything below. I personally really love this one. I think it's one of my most used. I think it absolutely is worth every penny because you can use it so much. Now, the only downside is Prada is not it's not really good on the resale market. So if you were to sell this, I don't know how much you would, I don't know if it's gonna be like a Louis Vuitton or like a Chanel, you're gonna make that much more, even the same left, you probably will lose a little bit. But I know these are still pretty hot on the pre-love sites. They still go for probably the same amount as you would get from the boutique. So right now it might be okay, but once I think the trend kind of fades a little bit, I don't know if you would get that. Now, I know sometimes I kind of, gravitate towards trendy things and that's just what I like. I love classic, but I also like trendy things. I have a couple of things I'll show you guys. I've been kind of saving it, but yeah, some of one of them is more leaning towards the trendy side. But you know, what I always say is it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's not about getting all classics or getting all trendy. It's just getting whatever you love and makes you happy and speaks to you. And at the end of the day, as long as we use it, it's worth it. Now this bag might go out of style, but I don't care. I'm still gonna use her. And I don't think it will because it can just be a shoulder bag. I just think sometimes we just gotta get the things we really like. So absolutely, if you're considering this bag, get it. 
totally worth it. Um, super durable and it honestly is so cute with every outfit. So definitely a splurge. Lastly, I'm just gonna do quickly some mod shots of what each of these bags look like so you can just get a sense. I just wanted to go through these few bags and what I think is worth a splurge, worth it to kind of save your money for something else. Um, and that is it. I hope you like this video. If you guys like it, consider giving this video a thumbs up and let me know if there's other videos that you want me to see, whether it's comparisons, um, unboxings, anything like that. I would love to get your thoughts as always. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.